right. Okay. Introduce yourself first. Hi, I'm Noah. I've uh, been a bartender here at Beaker for a couple years now. Um, I'm doing a dry martini. I have some controversial opinions <gasps> about dry martinis. <laughs> Um, you know, I think that a lot of folks use much too little vermouth uh, in their martinis. Uh, typically, original ratios for the martini recipes are anywhere from a full ounce, uh, two to one gin to uh, vermouth, or two to two, one to one, you know, gin to vermouth. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to be going that hard in the paint today. Uh, we're going to be going a little bit lighter than that. Um, you know, so my little martini fact that I like to spout about is that um, the dry and dry martini does not stand for the dry vermouth, but actually the gin. So we're not using London dry gin. We're going to be using the Beaker Spruce gin. It's my favorite for a dry martini. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very uh, floral and bright. It's not as heavy on the juniper as a typical London dry or our juniper gin that we make here. Um, it's gonna be really crisp and light and that kind of uh, openness of a martini really lets those flavors shine. So we're going with two ounces of that and I'm gonna be going with one and a half ounce, or not one and a half, excuse me. That would be a over, wet martini. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little over half an ounce of dry vermouth okay. and then a couple little jigs of orange bitters. We make an orange cardamom bitter, so it's a little different than your typical like Reagan's orange bitters, mm -hmm. but that is what I use in there here. Um, so uh, when martinis were first coming into fashion, there's a lot of different gins that weren't London dry gin. And so the dry and dry martini is actually referring to the use of London dry gin instead of dry vermouth. Um, but nowadays, since people say I want an extra dry martini, they're like, hey, I want no vermouth in that. I just want to taste the gin and the gin alone, which is totally fine. Well, Jet, but it's not a martini anymore. It's not anymore. a martini. So we're going to give that around 20 stirs in the glass. Okay. And we strain it into a nice chilled coupe. Then for a dry martini, there's nothing better than a lemon twist over the top of it. Just some nice aromatics. How do you feel about dirty martinis? You know, uh, they're not for me. They're not my favorite, but I don't hate on them. Everybody's allowed to drink whatever they like. <laughs> um, if I was to make a dirty martini, I generally like to stick with a juniper heavy gin or with vodka. I think uh -huh. our vodka has a almost briny quality to it that works beautifully in a dirty martini. So if that is your poison, then I would recommend the vodka in there or the juniper. I think the spruce is best saved for a dry martini. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing better. Absolutely nothing better. Mm -hmm. Going with a little dancer on there. And there is my dry martini. Perfection. Cheers. Cheers.